because biases are a naturally occurring process, we have to make the conscious decision to unlearn the negative stereotypes that we've been conditioned to learn. So being unbiased is a conscious decision that we eat, we each have to make daily. Um, we have to wake up and consciously choose to show up in a space where we're receptive of people who don't look like us, people we don't typically see, and be open-minded instead of um, clinging, clinging to those stereotypes that we've developed. I think it's very important to know yourself and your ethnic identity and know what you come with and know your background and know where those biases might uh, have originated from. So knowing yourself and everything that comes with you and how people see you will help you approach that other person better after you ask a lot of questions and learn about them and their cultures, um, their practices. Or... If you can change the system in a way that reduces bias and then you can increase um, goals around, like have specific numeric goals for what you're going for and then have some serious accountability, like you can tie people's um, success around diversity and inclusion to things like bonuses. I believe that we all have biases and there will be a point in the future where I am insensitive to someone and I'll discover that I have a bias that I was not aware of and I think that we need grace and we need the ability to have some introspective reflection on a scenario where we, we might exhibit a biased belief or behavior, and then learn and grow from it. I think the first step to sort of overcoming this is a gut check, right? If you don't feel warm inside after you release something out of your mouth, then learn from it and say, I'm not going to do that again, right? I think you, we, have, we all have sort of a gut that tells us that things don't feel good, and so we should try to listen to it a little bit more.